Hello everyone. Hello. Um, today we're going to talk about an aspect of discipleship. Um, we've titled this Die, <laughs> or something yeah. similar to that. <laughs> um, That's really a fun teaching. Yeah, it's really great. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so in this one, there's a lot of scripture. So hopefully, if you have your Bible with you, you can flip along as we read, because we're going to read a lot of scripture. If you don't have your Bible, just listen and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you. So I'll just pray now, Holy Spirit, speak to every heart listening and put this word deep within. I call for fertile ground and I command every veil to be lifted yep. in Jesus' name. So thank you, Lord. We'll kind of try to take our time too and go in between these scriptures so that um, you may have time. Maybe you'll have to pause. We'll see how it works. But Okay, so I'm going to start with Galatians 2.20. It says... I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So I'm dead to self. I live by faith for God. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm reading Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. Um, just as truth is in Jesus that in reference to your former, former manner of life you lay aside the old self which is being corrupted in accordance with the lusts of deceit and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self which is in the likeness of God which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness and truth. Okay. Philippians 3, verse 8. Yet indeed, I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Hmm. By faith. And um, I'm reading Colossians 3, 5. Colossians 3, 5. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, greed which amounts to idolatry we're free from those things mm -hmm. okay and then this is jesus speaking in luke 9 23 then he said to them all if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me deny himself die to yourself um, I'm reading um, 1 Peter um, 4, 1 and 2. Therefore, since Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same purpose, because he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. So, so as to live the rest of the time in the flesh no longer, for the lust of men, for the will of God. Hmm. Yeah. So living for the will of God, okay? Yep, yep. Romans 12, verses 1 through 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hmm. So we have to know the will of God. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Must be we're like following the Spirit then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm reading um, Titus 2. I'm going to read 11 and 12. For the grace of God 
has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and live sensibly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Hmm. Godly, like God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Galatians 5.24 says, And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So if you're Christ's, you're dead. You've crucified. That You can't live through a crucifixion. <laughs> I'm reading Matthew um, 10, 38. Okay, but you skipped Romans 8, just so oh, you know. You okay, come back. Well, we'll come back to that one. Uh, Matthew 10, 38. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Well, that's powerful, isn't it? That is powerful. Okay, flip to Romans 6, 11 to 14. 11. I got to find it in here. Okay. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lusts. And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you're not under law, but under mm -hmm. grace. The power to not sin is that grace. That's right. So you're free. Okay, back to Romans 8 then. Um, Romans 8, 12 and 13. And that is right here. Um, I'm going to start at 12 because that's where the sentence starts. So, so then, brethren, we are under obligation not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you are living according to the flesh, you must die. But if by the Spirit you are putting to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Hmm. Amen. <laughs> led by the Spirit of God, you're a son of God. It's not a question of should you be led by the Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, Luke 14, verse 33. Um, and just by the way, to know what a disciple does, Luke 14, 25 to 33 is pretty good. Okay, but just 33. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple cannot be my disciple wow forsake it all okay yeah. okay i guess i'm oh you're, you're, you're. yeah i'm i'm there okay <laughs> i'm kind of messing this up it's I, not a big deal okay so romans 6 8 now if we have died with christ we believe that we all shall also shall live with him Oh, that's good. Die. <laughs> that must be a that, But that's how that. you live with them mm -hmm. if you've died. Yep. Okay, Galatians 6, 14. But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Hmm. Through the cross of Jesus. The world's been crucified to us and us to the world. I think I read that one already. Oh, you read Titus? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go to Romans 6, 6, and 7, I guess. Did you read that? No, that's where I was going next. Oh. You read Romans 6, 8? Yes. Okay, go ahead if you've already got it. 6, 6, and 7. Uh, looks like I'm going to start in verse 5. For... If we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old self was crucified with him in order that our body of sin might be done away with so that we would no longer be slaves to sin. For he 
who has died is freed from sin. Another die. Yeah, another die. I just want to read that Titus verse. I'm not sure that we read that. Oh. Or at least I don't remember it. And if we did, it will be okay. great. So <laughs> um, okay. Titus 2, 11 and 12. For the grace of God, and remember the grace of God is the power. Mm -hmm. um, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Verse 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. I think you did read that, but it's mm -hmm. just really, that's it, really good. It's, it's really good, yeah. So this word came with all those uh, verses. And then the Lord started asking questions. Um, and this was how we were to teach this lesson. So maybe, so we each take one? No, go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, um, so are you sick? Does God say you are? Die to self. Are you poor? What does God say? Die to self. Are your feelings hurt? What does God say? Die to self. You don't feel like it? What does God say? Die to self. Do you have an opinion? Is it God's opinion? Same thing. Die to self. Are you tired? Is this what God is saying? Die to self. You don't need rest. You need Jesus. Are you too busy? What does God say? Die to self. God is saying, get over yourself already. Get over it. Die to self mm -hmm. and follow him. Live by the Spirit, mm -hmm. not by knowledge, not by your own wisdom, not by man's wisdom, not by the intellect, not by anything, but Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Die to self. A true disciple is dead to self. Reread those scriptures, re listen to them, get it in your heart. Yeah. It's not about you about Jesus. You're dead. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye.